Okay, here's number 26, and this is our problem, so again, from section 9.2. Okay, and uh, what we want to do is uh, we have this series here, or this function, I'm sorry, f of t equals 2 over 1 minus t squared. And capital G of x is just the antiderivative of f of t. So they want you to find the four, first four terms in the general term for the Maclaurin series generated by f. Well, this is just a geometric series, isn't it? I can factor the two out. And I can think of this as one over uh, one minus t squared. So this my ratio would be uh, t squared, and my a sub one would be one, and I have a two times this. So if I work this geometric series out, it's just a standard one. Uh, my ratio is t squared, t squared, t squared squared, t squared cubed, etc. Just keep multiplying by t squares, and then I can multiply by the two, so I can get the the terms here, 2, 2t two squared, 2t two fourth, 2t two six, t sixth, and the same over here, 2 times this, 2 times t to the 2m. Okay, so that's the general term. So that's not too bad. Again, those geometric series really make life easy. If you happen to stumble upon one. Okay, letter B. Uh, find the first four terms and the Maclaurin series for G. Now, this is g, which is the antiderivative of this, so I just take the antiderivative of this uh, with respect to, to x. And, and, well, it's going to be the dummy variable t, so I did kind of the way they, they set it up in the book because the way they set up in the book is easy to do with the McLaurin series. It's a little harder with the Taylor series. That's why I, I prefer to use, use substitution for the Taylor series. Uh, but if you just take the antiderivative here, this is fine. This is going to be end up being uh, 2 to the x, well, first of all, we take the antiderivative of this. This is uh, the same thing in, in t. And then evaluate that. 2, 2t two squared. So if we take the antiderivative of that and then evaluate it at x, we get 2x. 2x uh, two cubed over 3, and then 2x to the fifth over 5, and then 2x to the seventh over 7, because we're even going to evaluate this at t, and all these zeros will drop out anyway, and this we end up being 2, oh, that should be x, sorry about that, make an error there, we're going to fix that, excuse me, that should be x, there we go, can I put in the x in, so that's going to be 2, x to the 2n plus 1 all over 2n plus 1. Okay, so those are the first four terms and the general term of the McLaurin series for G, which is just taking the integral. Okay, and that's all there is to 26.